Hi! In this tutorial, I'll introduce you to sliders. These are special animated panels that can really bring your website to life. The home page on my Wild Florist site contains a slider. If I preview the page in a browser, you can see the slider in action. This is a very simple slider that changes one picture to another. I want to change the pictures on the slider to something that suits my website. The pictures on sliders are all contained inside frames. I'll just replace the picture with one I've already added to the Assets tab. However, the slider has more than one panel, so I need to access the other panels to change those pictures as well. The easiest way to do this is by using the Objects tab. In the Show drop down list, I can set the filter to only show slider objects. By clicking on a slider entry in the tab, it selects the slider on the page. The slider controls are displayed at the bottom of the slider, and the context toolbar has updated to show the options for the slider panel. I can now click to display the next panel, then select the picture frame and replace the image. On the Objects tab, I can also expand the slider object and select one of the panels directly. The panel is immediately displayed on the page, and I can update it as before. I'll preview the changes. Each slider also has a foreground panel, which can be seen on the Objects tab. The foreground panel is static and is overlaid on top of the other panels. This foreground panel is currently blank. I'll add some text to it. Then, preview the changes. The text added to the foreground panel is now displayed at all times. It's also easy to change the animation style for a panel. With the slider selected, clicking Edit Slider on the context toolbar opens the slider dialog. From here, it's easy to choose a new style and change the display times. On the Panels tab, it's also possible to add, copy, delete or reorder panels. It's even possible to get a panel to display on a specific date and time, which is great if you have a special offer to announce on your website. All installed sliders are available from the Assets Browser, in the Sliders Panels category. They are identified by the slider icon. Clicking Add All adds the entire category to the Assets tab. To add a slider to the page, I just drag it out from the tab. Sliders can contain virtually any object. Some sliders contain pictures, some text, and some a mixture of different objects, as in these examples. These sliders have been made with a variety of different animation styles, ready to be customised to fit any website design. That's all for this tutorial. To find more information, see the How To tab, Web Plus Help, 
or our other online tutorials. Thanks for watching.